ChatGPT has 700 million weekly active users and is the fifth most popular website on the internet. So how do you get ChatGPT to recommend your brand? Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. I'll show you a proven four pillar AI SEO blueprint to help you become the number one recommended brand in ChatGPT for your niche. So if you're new here, I'm Nathan Gotch and for over a decade, I've led hundreds of successful SEO campaigns in the most competitive industries such as legal health and SaaS. I'm also the founder of the number one AI SEO training program, Gotch SEO Academy, author of the SEO Entrepreneur and co-founder of Rankability, one of the fastest growing AI SEO tools. So let's begin with pillar number one, which is to nail the SEO fundamentals. Start by making sure that your website is crawlable and indexable by going to Google and entering a site colon search. As you see from the example, this website is not indexing well. So the first step is to check the robots.txt file and in seconds, we discover that crawlers are blocked. As a result, this website will not perform well in traditional search engines or AI platforms like ChatGPT. The one second fix is to change disallow to allow. The next SEO fundamental is to confirm that the website is built in a language that ChatGPT can understand, which is good old HTML. If you're using WordPress or popular content management systems, this is usually the default. However, if you're using a no code platform like Lovable or Replit, be careful because your website will most likely be JavaScript. And AI platforms like ChatGPT do not render JavaScript very well. In other words, ChatGPT will likely ignore your website in favor of a website that's easier to crawl and understand. So don't risk it. Stick to HTML driven websites. Next, become obsessed with loading speed because AI crawlers are intolerant of slow pages. Aim for page loading speed of 2.5 seconds or less to maximize crawling and conversions. According to one study, a one second delay can lead to a 7% decrease in conversions. Now it's time for pillar number two, which is to master topic domination. So look at these two plumbing businesses. One has seven web pages while the other has 500. To no surprise, the bigger website gets 23,000 organic visitors per month while the tiny website gets zero. This isn't to imply that quantity beats quality, but sheer volume can win even if quality is average. Let me show you a better approach that balances both. Start by picking one product or service like plumbing services in Chesterfield, Missouri. Then you'll start at the bottom of the funnel and build topic support. For example, you should build dedicated service pages for emergency plumbing, commercial plumbing, and kitchen plumbing services in Chesterfield, Missouri, to name a few. You can build these in minutes by entering a keyword phrase like emergency plumbing services in Chesterfield, Missouri into Rankability's content optimizer, entering Chesterfield for the location, and starting the optimizer. Then just pick AI, select service page from the dropdown, enter Enter some unique selling propositions, social proof, and details about the company into the prompt window to start. And in minutes, you'll have a draft that's already optimized and ready for human edits. If you're not sure what pages to build, you have two options. First, reverse engineer your competitors. Go to their navigation and build similar commercial pages that target unique service offerings. For example, on this plumbing business's website, I found basement, laundry room, and even outdoor plumbing services. There's also a full water heater and sewer services clusters to build as well. Just in this broad category of plumbing, you'll be able to create at least 25 to 50 service pages. Option two is to use ChatGPT to get some inspiration by using this prompt. Now keep in mind, you learn a lot more about search demand when you publish more because you can go into Google Search Console and start seeing the queries that are popping up. If you see a query that's performing poorly, you should consider how to target it either on an existing page or spinning up a dedicated page if the intent is different. The last content technique is something that most businesses hate, but it's incredibly effective for influencing ChatGPT and AI platforms. I call it competitor seeding. Instead of letting the AI just come to its own conclusions, you're going to attempt to control the narrative. And if you're brave enough, you'll get results like Geary, a member of Gotcha SEO Academy who used this technique. It's simple, create the following groups of content. Listicle content like top 10 best plumbing companies in Chesterfield, Missouri. Alternatives content like top five best Roto-Rooter alternatives in Chesterfield, Missouri. Comparison content like Roto-Rooter versus Bright House Co. in Chesterfield, Missouri. Then rinse and repeat for every competitor. These are often low competition topics, but are exactly what ChatGPT is looking for when it uses retrieval. Retrieval is fancy AI techno babble that simply means that when ChatGPT doesn't know an answer or it can't give an accurate response based on its training, it relies on third party sources to prevent hallucination and to generate more accurate responses. The number one third party source it relies upon is none other than 
and public search engines like Bing, and maybe even some evidence that he uses Google as well. Either way, this confirms that ranking well in traditional search is a critical part of influencing ChatGPT to recommend your brand. But we're just getting started. You could stop here and get decent results, but the next two pillars are what will help you dominate your competitors. Bringing me to pillar number three, which is blanketing the SERPs. You already know that ChatGPT uses search engines as a primary source of retrieval, and this means you need to plant your brand on as many pages as possible that are ranking for your most important keywords. Start by creating at least 10 commercial prompts using ChatGPT with this template. Then create a dedicated testing account in ChatGPT. Now run each of these prompts in separate chats. Next, go to this tool and create a simple bookmarklet using this code and drag it into your bookmarks bar. I'll have the code below the video. Then go back to each chat and export the citations. At this point, you'll have at least 50 to 100 citations to filter through. Exclude home pages and competitors and prioritize listicles above all else. Now you're left with your outreach targets. Just send this simple outreach template to every opportunity. Then send at least three follow-ups using this simple sequence on screen. Once again, I'll have all of this below the video. Next, open up ChatGPT's agent tool and use the following prompt to find more listicle opportunities. Once that's done, I recommend using the agent again to find your dream 100 in any niche you're targeting with this prompt. Your dream 100 is your best marketing and link opportunities in your industry. These are typically the most popular sites in any industry, which means they're likely ranking well in traditional SERPs and may possibly be a direct source of retrieval for ChatGPT. Treat these opportunities like gold. You can also just invest in sponsored content on these websites because ChatGPT doesn't discriminate between organic or paid brand mentions. They both count the same. Even if the link is tagged as no follow or sponsored, it still works. Now you're going to use ChatGPT's agent one more time to find YouTube influencers in your target niche with this prompt. YouTube ranks incredibly well in Google because they own it and it's a common source of retrieval in ChatGPT and Perplexity. It's simple, pay YouTubers to promote your brand. Go to their channel, click on more, and click view email address. Repeat for your entire prospect list, but be careful because YouTube will block you if you do too many in one day. Cap it at 20 per day. Once you have the list, send this template to every prospective YouTuber. Then use a simple calculation for prioritizing the opportunities based on their proposed brand integration pricing. Then just work through the list with this simple template. All right, so now moving on to pillar number four, which is forcing ChatGPT to trust your brand. It's simple. For ChatGPT to recommend your brand, it needs enough signals to prove you're legit. And the first step is to make it stupidly easy for ChatGPT to know what your brand is all about. First, use a tool like WhiteSpark to analyze your business citations to ensure that your NAP, name, address, and phone is 100% accurate. Next, open ChatGPT's agent, use the following prompt to find all of your own properties and to identify entity association issues. To keep it simple, it needs to be clear what your business offers in one to two sentences. Then you need to repeat this consistent relevance across all your owned assets. Next, become obsessed with generating reviews. If you're local, prioritize the Google Business Profile. However, in the context of ChatGPT, it doesn't use Google Business Profiles. Instead, it relies on third-party review platforms and it varies based on the local niche. For example, Avo and Justia are prime targets for lawyers, while Angie is great for home services. Just use this ChatGPT prompt, select the thinking model to find the best review platforms. Then watch the next video to see my 18-step SEO audit process for building a perfectly optimized website for ChatGPT and Google.